All right, guys, it's the big boy two by four here. Um, not gonna be doing a movie movie on Transformer figure today. We're gonna be doing one of the Cybertron figures. This is um, Undermine from Transformer Cybertron, um, which means like all the other Cybertrons, they all have a key slot, and you need a key to unlock to basically um, unlock some hidden feature. Here's hidden feature. He has like a little blade that comes out of his um that comes out of his head. Other than that, he's like a um raptor with the art with um so I'll count articulation in this since he's a beast figure. Um he has a joint that can move right here. I'm not gonna count the articulation. I'm not gonna um count how many points of articulation he has, I'm just gonna just do it. Cause I know that sounds annoying. So he get his legs can go forward and back. His dinosaur arms can move up and down, and his mouth can open, which also reveals inside that he has a red um, bottom jaw, which I thought they would make the tongue right here red instead of that. This makes him look stupid to me. Other than that, it's a great figure. Also, his tail has one, two, three point three joints for it to move. But other than that, that's all about his beast. That's all I can say about his beast mode. Oh yeah, he's light green and dark green. But other than that, and gold. But um, to transform him, uh, straighten out his legs like that do the same thing on the other side put his dinosaur uh, hands up um, bend his head up take the tail off bend this whole side here bend it all the way down and bend his legs down um there's a crease, split the crease open in his hand and fold it back. This reveals his head, fold the whole arm up, that and bend these little fang things, bend, the, bend his hands down to about right there. So, hold on. And that is Undermine. Now his weapon is a battle mace, which can fit into the slots on his hands. Like that. Also his, um, oh yeah, got put this tab in, so it's like that. Also his, um, Cyber key power still works like that, but to me, it almost looks like he has like a mohawk or like some one of those little spiky things that goes up in the air. I don't know. It just looks kind of in a weird, cool kind of way. It looks awesome. Other than that, the articulation, being that it's a scout class, it. Being that it's a scout class, only most times with scout classes you have rendered um, posability in one part of the body, and that is his head. His head does not rotate, but his arms can go 360 degrees. His elbow and he has elbow joint. He uh, he can go. F his leg can go forward. Leg can go back. He can bend at the knee, and he can also bend at the lower knee, so make him like he's running. He can also bend his foot. Yeah, so he's pretty poseable. You can pose him in a lot of different um, ways, just that his head cannot move, which is a disappointment. But um, that's undermined, so this is the big boy 2x4, and um... 
My next review will be of scrap metal. So stay tuned for that. See you.